Bert. Oh, Anna. I've got my pretty fur. <laughs> now, you'll be able to handle everything, right? Well, of course. Don't worry. Listen, I handled things for years before you ever came along. No problem. Come on, come on. Let's go. All right, now you let me know. Anything. I will let you know if anything fails. Yes. Let's move out in the field. I don't want us to be like that. Sure. Okay, Duke, what's on your mind? You said you had something important to tell me? Yeah, I do. This is going to be easy for me, but God knows I can't think of another way. I've got to protect Anna and Robin. Protect them from what? Who? Hmm. Duke, do you know something about that bomb threat? I know who did it. I can't prove it. Well, as soon as I tell you what I know, you'll have you'll have no more doubts than I have. Sounds pretty serious, Duke. It's more serious than anyone can imagine. Bert, there's an organization moving into Port Charles, an organization that, that well, I have been a part of, but I'm not anymore. What kind of organization? I'm talking about organized crime, man. It's very big. We intend to take control of Port Charles. In fact, their plans are already in effect. Duke, do you realize what you're saying? You are admitting to being involved with organized crime. I know what I'm saying. I don't care what happens to me. I can't be silent any longer. I want to see them all behind bars. I'm going to turn the state's evidence. It's the only way. Before they carry out the threat to kill Anna and Robin. Did you tell Anna anything about this? I tried to get the courage to tell her. I was going to tell her today. Uh, Robin was there and, and Sam was there. We kept, we kept getting interrupted. But I realize I, I can't wait any longer. If I don't talk soon, I might not live to tell it. Uh, you're safe as long as you're here with me. Duke, what I think you should do is tell me absolutely everything you know. Well, it all started with laundering money through my clubs. That was my idea in the beginning. I owed the organization. I figured it was a way of paying off the debt. I brought illegal gambling money in from Europe and, and I washed it through my clubs. It was a big responsibility. Who else was involved? Angel? No. Not Angel. Leave Angel out of this. He didn't know what was happening. Who then? You couldn't have done this alone. There was Damon Granville. Philip Wilder. David Marlowe. They're all involved. You see, the thing is, I was supposed to be let go after Fisherman's Village got underway. Oh, then Fisherman's Village was part of it. Yes, it was part of it in a very big way. They plan to set up legitimate businesses in the village. That way they have permanent facilities to, to launder the cash. Well, now you said you were supposed to get out of it. What happened? There's no honor among thieves. You know, I don't think they... I don't think they ever intended to let me go. They wanted me to marry Anna so they'd have the chief of police in their pocket. And they threatened, they threatened her life if I, if I refused. I tried to go to you then. I, I sent a messenger with some evidence, but he got, he got intercepted some way. I don't know. Intercepted how? I don't know. Seems they have spies everywhere. Frisco Felicia, well, they... They got involved because of me. We were moving cash through the ADZ warehouse for laundry. And Frisco began to snoop around. So I... I set up Felicia. Only because Damon had threatened to kill Frisco. Now, by setting up Felicia, Frisco had to take Felicia out of town. That way, it, I saved his life. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, you just said you set up Felicia. What about the maitre d's confession? Marco only took the fall because he, well, because he owed me. I wouldn't set her up without having a way to clear her. So now Marco's serving time for something he didn't do. Well, when Frisco and Felicia were on the run, did you know where they were? Yeah. I tried to protect them. Damon sent some hitmen out after them. And that's why I, I engaged Tessie to help me take care of them. And, uh... Tessie got killed because of me. God help me. Yeah, poor Tessie. I 
know Tessie was a friend of yours. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll live with that guilt forever. Duke, are there any other names you have for me besides Grenville, Wilder, and Marlow? I only know one other here. Who? Oh, Charles. Mr. B. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Mr. B? I've never met the man. Damon's always been the intermediary. Well, as soon as you arrest Damon, I won't take him long to talk. <laughs> Duke, you know, this, this all sounds unbelievable. You have got to believe me, but why would I lie to you now? Do you realize what this is going to do to Anna? I know. I know what it's going to do. She's going to hate me, but it can't be helped. The important thing is that you protect her. Now, can you protect her? I'll protect her. What about you? When the mob finds out that you've double-crossed them, your life isn't going to be worth a plug nickel. Well, my life is worthless now. The only important thing is that I don't have to live long enough to testify. Now, can you do that for me, too? Sure, Duke. I'll protect you, too, Duke. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to that pay phone, call for backup. Now, you stay here. We'll put you in protective custody. Okay, but well, please hurry, I can. David and Philip, the, the, we're watching me at the club. All right, all right. Well, don't get too excited. Just you stay here. I'll be right back. I'll stay here. There's no way to run. And Bert. Yes. You've got to get protection for Anna and Robert. Please. I've been looking all over for you. Duke and Philip were looking for you at the club. And when you disappeared, they really freaked out. Now, Philip got a call from, from Damon. They really looked worried. Damon, if he suspects what I'm doing, that Anna's life will be in danger. Dude, please, oh, Robbins. You just can't do this. You can't do it. Stand here talking about it, man. Get back to the club and make sure that David and Philip stay there. Hurry up. And what are you going to do? Where's Don't worry go? about me. Bill Ramsey is around the corner. He'll protect me. Carl Ramsey, did you talk to him? Don't stand here talking about it. Just get back to there and make sure David and Philip don't leave for any reason at all. All right. That's right. He told me everything, Damon. The only thing he doesn't know is that I'm Mr. B. Look, I want you to put a hit out on him right now. Do it fast. I'll stall him until your man gets here. But hurry up. I can't let him get anywhere near Anna Devane or Scorpio with his story. Good. Chief, we got a suspect in custody. He's over on the pier. I'll be right back. Is that the man who shot Chief Ramsey? 